up? It's Pity and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about my current beauty favorites. I wanted to title this video April Favorites, but I felt like since I haven't done a monthly favorites for a very long time now, I thought that I would just title it Current Beauty Favorites because it's been a while and I've been trying a lot of new products. So I have some to share with you guys today. I also have some misses as well because I've been reviewing so many products for you guys so I'm super excited to show you guys what I've got in front of me so if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel click that bell icon to be notified of any of my new videos I haven't been posting much because I just got done with finals I'm so so sorry about that but I am back so um yeah without further ado don't forget to give this video a thumbs up let's begin I have been very very much so in love with skincare in the months of January and February I was not wearing a lot of makeup and skincare was everything to me and it still is one moisturizer that I just love is the belief the true cream moisturizing balm and I love this so much because for my dry skin it just really moisturizes and hydrates and I can't talk enough good stuff about it like I'm almost done and I actually already purchased a backup during the Sephora VIB sale because I love this so so much it's definitely my favorite moisturizer so I highly recommend this for normal to dry skin. They also have a gel consistency one which is great for oily skin. And for an eye cream, I've been trying this Belief Moisturizing and Firming Eye Cream and I love this stuff so much. I was actually planning on purchasing the full size during the VIB sale. However, it was sold out. So I ended up getting a different Belief eye cream. I will test that one out and see the way they compare so far. I still really like this one more. The other one was more expensive, so I hope that one does something more for me, but I'll update you guys. Oh my goodness, this has just recently came into my life, but I am in love. And I'm super, super late to this because I feel like a lot of people already own this, but if you have large pores and you really want to get rid of them, then it this will be your best friend. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer and it is a beautiful base for your skin. It's this moussey, silicone-y feeling and you just apply it wherever you have pores, texture. It just really fills them in and blurs out your face. So I am loving this product. I seriously am so late to this, but I am very, very happy that I did pick this up. I've been loving it, wearing it every single day, and it's just been my absolute favorite. I don't know why I've been having a texture issue on my cheeks. Um, it's just something that I've been dealing with so this has really really made a huge difference so I really really love this. The next favorite is this Beauty Water from Sun and Park. This is a toner and I have been loving this. I'm already more than halfway done. I really need to purchase a new one pretty soon because this is amazing. So here are how the Shiseido facial cotton pants look like. They are just so incredibly soft. So when you pair these two together, it just gives you the ultimate experience. So you definitely pay for quality over quantity for these Shiseido cotton pads, but I feel like they're totally worth it if you are a skincare junkie. And I can't say enough good stuff about this beauty water. It's just amazing. Try it for yourself. You won't regret it. It like it tones your skin, rebalances your skin, however it brings moisture back to your skin, so this is just amazing. The next item I have been loving is the Chanel Soleil Tandy Chanel Bronzer. And this is a very expensive cream to powder bronzer, but I love it. It smells so good. It's my favorite cream bronzer to contour with. I find that it just blends so well and it suits my skin tone so well. So it's definitely one of my faves and I have just been really into cream contour lately. You know, I just feel like I have my phases and I'm currently in that phase of cream contour. It's definitely a luxury purchase, but for me, I thought that it was worth every single penny because I've had this for a very long time and barely 
have made any dent and I still have so much left so it's definitely worth it because I mean you'll get a lot of use from it so the next product I've been loving is the dandelion twinkle highlighter I love this so much and I didn't think that I would this is a very natural highlight and when I mean natural I mean obviously it's a highlight I'm wearing it today but it's not like a bam in your face strip of highlight strip of glitter kind of glow it's like this natural kind of lit from within glow where you know you see it it's not not there but it's definitely there and it's not like overpowering it's just amazing and it smells so good it puts me in this like happy place every single time I apply this and this looks so good on mature skin let me tell you my mom looks so good with dandelion twinkle I just introduced a highlighter to her life and she looks so bomb in this so if you have more mature skin or if you're shopping for someone that has more mature skin I think that this is a really nice one because it still kind of brightens your face but it's not overpowering so I definitely recommend this it's really really suitable for all ages so this next product I feel like I've talked about a lot but I don't think I've talked about this product recently so I did want to share that my favorite powder from the drugstore just my favorite powder lately to just kind of all over dust all over to set my face has been the Rummel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder I am in the shade 20 nude beige and I I love this stuff I've been using this for so long and it works really well I mean it keeps me matte all day even for dry skin like me I really like it when my skin is really oily I still really like it so um, definitely one that I recommend if you're looking for a very affordable powder this is amazing and just a side note I was really fangirling when Remel reposted one of my pictures on their Instagram page <sighs> I was like wow didn't think this would ever happen but I'm just so happy I'm gonna put that picture right here so anyways the next product should come to no surprise I mean I feel like I talk about this all the time but just gonna re-mention this the Tarte Shape Tape is awesome it's really full coverage it looks so good not at all cakey unless you apply way too much use a very light hand but this is amazing if you're looking for a concealer that will cover those dark circles cover any redness this one is for you all right so now I'm gonna talk about this brow pencil I don't think I've talked about this before this is the Maybelline brow precise micro crayon it's a really good dupe for the Anastasia brow wiz and I noticed one day that I ran out of my brow wiz I just had to get another pencil a sap I went to the drugstore I saw this one and I picked it up there is a L'Oreal one too, but the L'Oreal one only comes in three shades. The darkest shade is not my shade. I have that too. I don't like using that one. I very much prefer the Maybelline one because they have, I think, five or six shades. I love this, and I've actually already repurchased this. So this is actually my second one already. This is my last favorite before I move on to the misses. I love the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. These are amazing. They're what I'm wearing today, and I feel like, you know, the hype is so real because these seriously are amazing. I can't get enough of them. They are literally worth every penny. Let's move on to products that I'm not a fan of. They just didn't work for me. This first one is the Too Faced Sketch Marker. And I got this from the Nikki Tutorials Times Too Faced kit that she came out with. I was super excited to try it. To my surprise, um, when you use it on your hand, it's fine. It looks fine, but when you go to put it on your eyes, literally nothing barely any product comes out especially if you have eyeshadow laid down it's just not amazing and even now you can see it's very faded I don't know I just I just really don't like it like there's really not a lot of product in it and I don't know I just cannot get it to work especially the tip if you can tell 
the tip is not amazing if I'm just brushing the tip. Yeah, so this was definitely a miss, which is very, very sad because I love liquid liners and this is just not a good one. This one might come to a surprise to some people because this is very, very hyped on YouTube. I bought this because of the hype. I really wanted to try it. This is the Pixi Glow Tonic. This is a toner. I don't like this. I don't know why people like it. Let me just say that, not that it's really bad, but the fact that it's $24 for this little, little tube. And I would pay that if this was like amazing and better than the toner that I already love. But my Sun and Park Beauty Water is $30. So for $6 more, you're getting three times the amount in the beauty water. One thing that I cannot get over is the smell. It smells like, you know, like the real roses kind of smell, but it also smells kind of like the Barbie plastic at the same time. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't get past the smell. And it doesn't clean my face any better than my other toner. So yeah, not that it's like crazy crazy bad. I do not like the smell and I felt like it just didn't perform as good as my beauty water so this was definitely not worth the hype. I have another product that is not worth the hype which to me was a little disappointing. This is the Tarte Brighter Days Moisturizer. Again, it's kind of the same issue. Not that it's bad but the fact that they label it a moisturizer, at least for me with dry skin, this is not a moisturizer. In order to moisturize my face, I would have to use a lot of this. And I feel like it's just not hydrating enough to call it a moisturizer. I would say a great dupe, because this is very, very expensive, is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. This one, it acts the same. It makes my face look the same. The finish is the same. Like the texture and consistency is not really quite the same. But once you have it on your face, once you blend it out on your face, I actually much rather prefer the L'Oreal primer over the brighter days. The last two products are also from Tarte. The first one is the Tarte Tarte Guard Tinted Moisturizer. It made my face feel very, very oily and it didn't even provide any coverage whatsoever. So, I mean, yeah, it has SPF in it and that's probably like the only bonus that I could say about this. Other than that, I mean, I just did not like this. All right, so this last product I was so excited to try. This is the Tarte Clean Queen Vegan Deodorant. I wanted to try something vegan, good for you, aluminum free. So I tried this, however, it does not stop odor at all. So normally I use a antiperspirant and so it stops me from sweating and it doesn't make me smelly at all and I play volleyball almost every Sunday and I use that deodorant and I've never noticed any sweating or any smelling and then I know that deodorants they don't stop you from sweating so I was expecting that I would sweat however I was not expecting that I would smell but after like two games of volleyball I was like, oh my gosh, I got so insecure because I really started smelling and I was like, I've never smelled this way before. I was really regretting that I didn't bring my other deodorant just in case this one failed. But that's exactly why I try out new products so I can show you guys whether they work or not. Yeah, let's just say if you work out a lot, I would definitely not recommend this. <sighs> we have made it to the end and let me tell you guys a secret, it is 5.13. A M. This is uh, definitely a video that I really wanted to film and I really just did not have the time to sit down and talk to you guys until now. So I am just so thankful that you guys are here with me today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the reviews, um, whether it was my favorites or my hateds or misses. Um, I don't like saying hate because hate is very, very strong. Like It's a very strong word. I don't like to use it, but um, yeah, I really feel like I did not like some of these products and you guys already know why. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon 
to be notified of any of my new videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching these and want to see more reviews. Let me know what products you guys would like me to review next. I've been really trying out a lot of new products for you guys. A lot of the hyped products because I feel like are these products really worth the hype or are they not? Because I just don't understand. And some are, some aren't. So let me know what products you guys want me to try out next. And yeah, have a beautiful day wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!